another little demonstration here. Um, what I've done is I've connected a green LED directly to one of the motors. Uh, it's just one of the motors is a two motor bot. Um, however, uh, each motor is turned on at the same point in each rotation. Uh, so it does provide a good visualization of when any given motor is on in the rotation uh, to result in uh, translation you're seeing. And um, what you might notice is it looks like, and by the way, we're rotating counterclockwise here, uh, it looks like the uh, motor is coming on uh, at let's say about, um, let's call that seven o'clock or so, and being turned off roughly uh, about, um, maybe one or two o'clock. Uh, so it's not quite a 90 degree angle relative to the direction of travel, but it's really close. Uh, interestingly, this means that both times I've described this uh, uh, in various public ways, I had it wrong, but it's kind of the average of both of them. Uh, one other thing here, so if we go backwards, whoops, that was my one on. Uh, so I'm going forwards now, if I go backwards, uh, it, it changes, uh, so it's, it's 180 degrees. Uh, from what it's doing is going forward. When I'm not moving, uh, it's kind of alternating back and forth so there's not a net translation. Uh, and also when I power up here, if I spin up, um, increase the throttle, it uses more of uh, each rotation with the motor on and opposite obviously if we go uh, down. Uh, this is, again, a, a two-wheeled robot. Uh, I suspect when things are turned on might be a bit different with a one-wheeled robot. I'm going to try to find that out later. Uh, but also, this really doesn't matter from a build standpoint because it's all user configurable. So I didn't actually know for sure uh, what the exact power cycle was until right now because I've never seen it uh, fully uh, 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 shown uh, visually like this. I've just kind of had some theories, and uh, apparently my theories have consistently been not quite right. As you can see here, I've uh, just removed uh, one of the wheels from the robot, and uh, now we're going to do the same test uh, with just one wheel. A little harder getting spun up, but uh, uh, as you can see, things seem to work pretty well here. Um, maybe a little bit out of calibration, but the truth is I didn't reconfigure this at all, so I'm surprised it's actually doing this well. Uh, so once again, this is a one motor setup. Um, uh, there's only one contact point right now. The rest of the robot is kind of magically hovering uh, due to gyroscopic effect. Um, it looks like the time that it's turned on is about the same. Uh, and, and of course it would be by definition that I didn't reconfigure it, but it does seem to be working just fine without having reconfigured it. So uh, it looks like the uh, final answer is uh, that translational drift robots tend to turn themselves on uh, starting a little after 7 o'clock and uh, turning back off uh, maybe a little after 1 o'clock. Uh, once again, that's going counterclockwise. Um, but uh, as you can see, a one-wheel robot uh, potentially drives pretty well, actually.